Howdy. Welcome to another episode of the Bun and Beard Vlog. <sighs> Gonna be a weird day today, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, let's go. So, before we start, let's take a swab sample, tonsils and nose. Ugh, put swab sample into plastic vial and securely screw the lid. Oh. Gently blow your nose into a tissue. This is so you get rid of excessive mucus. <laughs> Take a tissue home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Use the same swab for the tonsils and nose, Grace. Taking the sample may cause gagging and minor discomfort, but it should not hurt. Bang. That wasn't as easy as it could have been, eh? No, I thought someone was going to do it for me. Because we could have had the option of doing a send it to the house. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do that because I don't want to do it myself. Uh-huh. So we did the drive through, but but then I'd do it myself <laughs> with like a group of youths watching basically because they've got like they're volunteers, so it's ace, but they're just kind of quite young people. Yeah, and they stand near the car, so then you're like trying to shove a swab down your throat. That looked like the hardest bit. I was gagging and then I cried. <laughs> Only a little cry, <laughs> but you did it though. I think I did it. You, you did have it. To avoid all the other internal parts of your mouth. So you can't it's touch. quite hard when you've got bad aim. So what do you do? You have to touch it to the, your tonsils for 10 seconds without touching your teeth, your mouth, your tongue, which your tongue goes Ugh! like that. Well, mine does as soon as I sh try and shove everything in there. Oh, yo, yo. So we had to have a knee swab twice. Mm. <laughs> Pretty sure I licked it on the way out on the last one as well. But you've done it. And I shoved it up my nose. <laughs> And tears are coming down my eyeballs. Oh, it was quite stressful to watch. Yeah. It made me panicky. I know, mean, I could feel. Did you? That was yeah. probably making it worse. I've been using an app called like C19 that came out ages ago. It's not the Truck and Trace app. It's a study. It's a study. And so last night I put into there like, mm, chill planes, mm. which I'd read about somewhere else and someone else had mentioned. Um, and I've always had chill planes on my feet since a kid, but I've never had them on my hands. Mm. And because I work in hospitality at the moment, mm. I thought, isn't, I thought, hmm, should probably get tested. But then the app told me to get a test, so. so. The app you're in, the study, told you to get a test. Yeah. You've had a bit of a, a, bit of a mild cough as well? Only, I'm asthmatic anyway, yeah. so. I would just say it was a normal amount for this kind of time of year, especially going out in the cold for little runs and stuff, it kind of. Now, the tricky limbo thing is, if you've been tested, do you have to basically assume that you've got it for the next like 48 hours yeah. like do we have to go and isolate at home or or what common sense would say yeah like avoid everyone i can't isolate let me show you why i hope we don't have to isolate for two weeks who's gonna feed the who's gonna feed the new lads i feel like you could get here you reckon i could come well you just drive in your car because I wouldn't see anyone, or I could yeah. walk. I could walk here without seeing anybody to the field. Yeah, I think it just makes Remember this really field we bought, yeah. this thing. Well, look at the new arrivals. We've had chickens on the field for about, what, about a week, just of course? Yeah. And the pigs arrived yesterday. For the first night last night. They're in this little enclosure to begin with, just while they get acclimatised to being here and away from their mum. And then they're going to have this whole place to roam in. Lucky little devils. <coughs> what do you think of them? Yeah, they're kind of cute. Huh? They're kind of cute. <laughs> I mean... The pigs were firmly my idea, to be fair. I didn't give her much option. They're a heritage breed called the Oxford Sandy and Black. There's not that many of them. They almost went extinct. We managed to find two. Oh, they're lovely. They're lovely. I really like them. They're like terracotta. 
It's an awesome colour, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> it's an awesome colour. We have a nice salad for lunch. Spring um, onions, cabbage, a bit of avocado. Yeah. <laughs> It's just living the dream, really, aren't living they? Living the dream. They'll have their, they'll They're have literally their... like, oh, I don't know what to eat. <laughs> they'll have their dinner later on. What's for dinner? Um, pig food for dinner. Because they're only little ones. They're only <laughs> the, uh, the eight weeks old. So they're still on, like, baby food, basically. The chickens are knocking out eggs for fun. Got five trucks. Got them from a farm around the corner who had too many, so we took them off their hands. And look, we built... We built these structures over the last week. We've built these ourselves by hand. Pig pen. That was a good laugh. And then look at that bad boy. Look at that. Custom built. Sorry, girls, I don't have anything for you right now. Look at that. What I learnt when building a triangle chicken coop is that triangles aren't actually that easy to build. I made many a, many a mess up. Many a cock up. Girl, Piggly, boy, Tony. The plan soon is we have the whole field split up into quarters. So the animals will be in one quarter at a time. One quarter will be recovering from where they've just been. And then the other half will be open. And we're going to do little events on it, little pop-up events. Probably some little, um, some little like cycling focused glamping or little uh, wild camping kind of style right here. Which is a great place to do it because, I mean, the hills are there and all around us, so be quite in the thick of it. Watch out for that next spring. We've got to go, okay? See you later. We've got to go watch the Tour of Flanders real quick. We'll see you in a bit. Don't make too much of a mess or, well, you know, do, do whatever. We've got our eggs. What was that stat you were telling me about the Tour, Tour of Flanders earlier on? Just seen it on Instagram. Um, the men's winner will get 20,000 euros. The men's winner? Yeah. The women's winner will get, well, it's not even 1,400 actually, that's rounded up. It's 1,395 euros. 1,395. Yeah. 1,395. Versus 20,000. Versus 20,000. For the men's. Wowzers. That makes you feel so good and cosy and warm inside about watching <laughs> our sport, doesn't it? <laughs> makes you feel proud of our sport. <sighs> There is something in there. Ooh. So hopefully your test comes back all right. Mm. But if it doesn't, should we prepare in case it doesn't? Yeah. Two weeks inside is going to be a long time for you. Now I've played with bikes a lot. But whilst popping a bike on a turbo, I've never had a pedal just come off in my hands. So it's just, I've just turned in the, and it's just, the, look, look at that. Two minutes ago. That was attached to there. No, it's not. Obviously being a little bit dramatic because they do just um, screw back on. But <laughs> what have I been up to with my riding style in the last few rides? It means that that just fell off in my hand. <sighs> bike is a little bit dirty, so she's giving it a clean before it can come in and get on the turbo. Let's see how she's getting on. Hey, that's really clean. Thanks. You're doing a really good job with that. Um, I, watched Lovely, it, I watched a video online. Lovely gloves. <laughs> Thank you. They were kitchen gloves and then there's a slight hole in one of the things. Yeah, in this hand somewhere, so my hand does get wet. Yeah, so they're good. F oh, that's where the hole is. Oh, nice. But they keep my hands warmer than if my hands were completely free to the air. Mm. Mm. I, um, I just pulled my whole peggle off my bicycle. Oh, no. I know. They screw back on, but I don't know what on earth I've done to unthread it whilst riding. <laughs> <laughs> Too many watts, mate. Hey, he's looking lovely and tidy. Yeah, what shall I put on him then to leave him up? <sighs> so we're, we're having this debate whether or not we go back to wax full time. Because if the bikes are indoors, 
wax is so much better, isn't it? Don't get oil everywhere. Yeah. We've only changed off wax because when I went to do the challenge in when Wales, you went to the internationals, I didn't sh- want to get wax into the mechanism of someone else's turbo. Well, you were sharing turbos that had oil all over them. And, and I didn't two want their compatible. oil onto my yeah. So. Well, let's leave it like this clean, and then we can we can wax up. But we just need to clean down the turbos okay. in the sonic. But we need to do that, otherwise we're just gonna. Have- How do you feel about this maybe being our future for the next few weeks? Yeah, you might just have to put up with it. It's not my favourite. It's not my favourite. <laughs> we want to. We made a pledge that we want to get outside a lot more this winter, don't we? Be out in it. But sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you can't. So we make the best. Um, what are you doing there? Cleaning the windows. Clean your windows. With spit. Financial times and spit. Yeah. <laughs> I think of <it's> good. <laughs> That's weird. A bit of fresh firewood coming tomorrow, and a load of food delivery just arrived today. Just on the off chance, well, just, on the 50-50 chance, we might have to lock down for two weeks. Isn't it? We're set, I think. What else do we need to prepare? Um, There's nothing else we can prepare, is there? There's no medicine. <laughs> Buy things for when our new friend arrives. Shh, 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 shh. We're not talking about the new friend yet. That's so much better. Well done. Yeah, but I did. I got bored on that one. No, yeah, that side's not going very well, but that side's That's great. Comparison. Run out you of can spit. use sit. <laughs> right, we're prepped. Let's hope your test doesn't come back positive. Mm. But if it does, we're as prepared as we can be. Yeah. Cross your fingers for us that we don't have to isolate for 14 days, because that would be a bummer. Because it's actually quite nice outside, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the worst. It's not the worst at all. We've got the next day or two in limbo. I don't really want to go anywhere for the next day or two. If you're, mm. I mean, like we've not been told to not go anywhere. They don't really tell you that bit, do they? It seems like common sense. When you're not sure. Common sense. We'll apply some common sense to it and just hang out here for a few days, do some work. Thank you as always for watching. It's the end of our day. Hope you've had a nice weekend. Ooh, I watched the Tour of Flanders highlights. Men earn their extra, you know, ten times. No, See even I'll... more times 20, pay that they... Times. See those high paid men go and uh, earn their crust. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, like and subscribe down below. Any questions or comments, you know where to put it. See you next time, I suppose.